Hi to everyone. Um, for today's video, I wanted to address three different topics. So we've got a lot of COVID outbreaks right now. Um, my, my dad, my stepdad, and my brothers all got it. Um, and so they're fine. Um, they're on the mint. Well, my, my brothers and my dad have been fine for a while, but my stepdad is still on the mint a little bit. Um, but I wanted to talk about nutrition because, and especially during this COVID season and during the winter months, it's easier to get sick, of course. I wanted to talk about how, um, emotional balance affects the immune system. And then acknowledging, um, this is different from the health, pers the health. I wanted to include this in because it is the new year and we are stepping into a new chapter of our lives. Um, and a lot of us, we really do genuinely want to make changes in our lives. So acknowledging our growth from the year before and then how we want to progress in this year spiritually and physically. So the first one I want to address is nutrition. And um, this is something that I am passionate about. Um, and especially um, since the COVID thing, I've really upped my nutrition stuff because, um, or my diet, I should say, um, because it's, it's important because the, the immune system relies not just on supplements, you know, or lots of water, or it's like the, the, the nutrition of mother Gaia, mother Gaia provides us with everything that we need and the more fresh stuff that we can eat, um, and it doesn't have to be bland. You don't just have to cut up a carrot or like a bell pepper or whatever and eat it raw by itself. I mean, you can make delicious dishes. And a lot of services now are are catering to this need for organic, fresh, non-GMO produce. Um, and there's even companies that, um, trying to think, Green Chef? What is it? It's something Chef, um, where they package meals together that you just cook up. They already have it all chopped up and everything and it's organic. It's non-GMO. So there's a lot more opportunity now than ever to take care of the body. So, um, there was a few things that I wrote down that I, um, that, that are to my awareness, but the biggest thing is that Fresh is always better. And I'm not saying be a fully raw vegan or anything like that or fully raw. Um, it, that's not what I'm saying. But the more you can, you know, like if you have eggs, you can incorporate bell peppers or um, uh, whatever veggie, uh, some green onion in there. Or just that ups your nutrition level, nutrition levels, and it ups your immune, your um your immune system. So I always, when I make every meal, I'm always like, how can I make this the most nutritious that I can make it and the most, um, supportive for my body? Um, so a few things with the antiviral, antibacterial foods. Um, I, I follow, um, the medical medium, um, and I have a couple of his books and I love him and he pretty much is like a medium channeler, for um advanced knowledge about nutrition and how it affects the body and how it supports the body and of course it's fresh foods it's fruits veggies you know but pretty much veganism um stuff that's um like the dairy and i still eat dairy and meat but i i don't eat it every day and i don't eat large quantities of them are of those foods because they are inflammatory for the body. So I stick with, I try my very hardest to, especially during this time to stick with foods, um, that are anti, um, uh, inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial. Um, and then also it gives the nutrients to the body and the antioxidants that it needs um, to keep the body young, vibrant, healthy, fit, all that stuff. So, but for antiviral, antibacterial, some of the things that probably most of you already know, um, is garlic and onions. And I know that's not a very popular, 
Um, those are two foods that are not very popular for a lot of people because they make your breast stink. But there's ways around that. If you're going out to like, if you're going out to socialize, take a garlic supplement that doesn't, that takes the stink out of it or whatever. Um, and then also uh, cooking those um, makes it less. But sometimes if I'm home for a couple of days, <laughs> I'll eat raw garlic and onions just because the antioxidant support and the, the immune support is so strong. So, um, and I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to say that. <laughs> um, I love food. I'm a foodie. Um, coconut and olive oils, especially the coconut oil. Very, very good. And you can use this for your body as well. Um, for women who have uh, bladder, uh, I, I struggle with bladder and, or have in the past struggled with bladder infections pretty bad. And I had a friend when I worked at the nutrition depot here where I live, um, she told me to start taking, um, or to start using coconut oil when I was intimate. And it, I mean, my infections completely stopped completely, 100%, no more infections. And I was able to um, through my pregnancy, keep from getting the bladder infections. Um, I learned from the medical medium, potatoes are a good antiviral, antibacterial. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, but I've always loved potatoes. I just, because of the high carbohydrate, like how it spikes the blood sugar, I just, I eat them in, in their organic form. Sometimes I'll have fries, you know, fried fries. But most of the time what I do is I just bake a potato and then I put like a plant-based butter on it and some salt and then whatever toppings um, that I like, like chives and uh, raw bell peppers and stuff like that. And then I'll just eat it like that. And it's so nourishing for me because it grounds me. A lot of the grounding, you know, the root vegetables are very grounding, um, carrots, p potatoes, and I do have to have a lot of grounding stuff like that. So that's good. Um I eat raw ginger. I eat um, with almost every meal because it helps with di digestion. It's an anti-inflammatory um, and it's got, of course, nutrition in it. And it's, it's a root. It's a, um, and turmeric. Turmeric and ginger kind of go hand in hand. And I also take a turmeric supplement when I, when I can. Um, high vitamin C foods. Bell peppers are higher in vitamin C than most fruits. Not a lot of people know that, but it's true. So bell peppers are great. Um, I eat, I've been, tr I've been working on eating more raw bell peppers. Like I'll dip it in some, um, well, like a plant-based ranch. Sometimes I do traditional ranch. I, I do like ranch. Um, but you know, dip it in some kind of sauce and then, um, you know, most fruits, apples, oranges, grapefruits, all that has its high vitamin C content. Just the more, and, and a lot of the fruits, they have more water content. Well, the vegetables too. They have more water content, especially if you don't cook them. So it's really great. Um, it's a great way to prevent and protect your body from viruses and bacteria. And of course, greens and veggies. Nutrient packed. Talk about nutrient packed. I eat a lot of greens. I love my greens. Um, spinach, kale. Um, I mean, everything. I actually use this um, company called Misfits Market, and it saves like some of the produce that are about to go bad that's organic. And so I order like a th every other week, I'll order like a whole box of 30, 30 to $35 dollars worth of organic. Um, produce and it gets delivered to my door by Wednesday. And then, so I have like a couple of weeks worth of fresh produce that I can work with, um, whether it's fruits, veggies, they even have box stuff, but I try my best not to do too much box stuff. Um, I want to stick with the, with the nutrition. So that covers, I mean, just as my point is keep it, keep it fresh. Eat as much raw as you can, but you don't have to go extreme and do all raw because that's not really realistic. I eat a lot of I eat a lot of soup in the winter, so I just cook a lot of my vegetables into my soups. So that's good. 
But I, um, so the second thing I want to talk is, is about emotional balance. So this is, this is incorporated into the whole health thing. So when we are emotionally unbalanced and we're not really checking in with ourselves, we're not um, nurturing ourselves, it's really, um, it's, it's a really good chance for viruses and bacteria to take over. Um, the mind and the body are very intricately connected. And so if you are, um, if you are upset about something, even if you don't realize it, if you are not, just checking in with yourself, okay, see, see where you can cut down on the stress in your life. See where you can cut down on the, the things in your life that are not going, um, the way that you want. Well, and some things are uncontrollable, but it's the reaction. It's how you react to things. It's how you choose to perceive things. That is the most important part of that. So, um, emotional balance is, um, extremely important with the immune system, but also in general, don't we just want to have more e equilibrium in our lives? Don't we just want to have more balance, um, and to feel more at peace in general, just aside from the, from the, the, uh, you know, the pandemic that's going on right now and all the other sicknesses that are taking place this winter, you know, it's very, it's vitally important that not only, we attend to the body, but we attend to the mind and we attend to the spirit. Okay. The third thing is, is kind of, um, it's related to mental and spiritual health, but it's not really related to, um, physical health, you know, nutrition, acknowledging your growth. So acknowledge the places where you learned a lot in 2021, really acknowledge that because, and my therapist that I talk to every couple of weeks, she, um, she told me to do, make that an exercise to write down what it is that you are proud of in 2021. And to it, a lot of times what we do is we, we beat ourselves up for what we did wrong and what we didn't accomplish. But if we can reframe that, and see, okay, or say, okay, how can I look at this, um, in a, a more, um, in a more positive light? Okay. I'll acknowledge the things that I didn't do so well, but there's things that I did right too. And there are, there was a progression, there was a growth. So acknowledging our accomplishments and really being intentional about that, writing it down and really processing that, Instead, because our tendency is to beat ourselves up and to acknowledge all the things that we might have done wrong um, or wrong. You know, you're not, you're not, you're never really wrong. I mean, you're just learning. It's a learning school here on earth. Um, and then just in the, and I guess the overarching message of this video is just to stay connected with you. Stay connected with what lights you up. Stay connected with um, where, where there needs to be wounds internally healed. How can I improve my health, physical health? How can I have support in my life? I know I've had to... Um, work on that. You know, I didn't, I didn't really have support. Well, I mean, from family, but, and friends, but I wanted like professional support. So I've got a coach, I've got a therapist, you know, um, I'm taking a course, it's a emotional rehab course. And then I plan on taking her shadow work course after. Um, so I have a bunch of different forms of support to, um, you know, undergird my growth, you know, in all areas. So how can you, um, get the support? How can you improve your health? How can you, um, nurture what's in here? How can you do the healing work, you know, start the process of the healing work, you know, our childhood wounds, um, our trauma, you know, a lot of it comes from childhood. Some of it comes from past lives. If you believe in that, I do. Um, so how can you start, you know, really propelling yourself forward this year? This is a great time and opportunity to do that. So I encourage you guys to do that. If you want, um, uh, my, my support, 
You can reach out to me at rachelkdonna1111 at gmail.com, and I will be more than happy to talk about whatever you want to talk about and to help you with goals or to talk about spiritual matters or whatever, you know, and it's all confidential. So I love you guys. I hope you're having a good week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.